My name is Frank Warburton. Uh, I'm a consultant based in the UK and I've worked for a number of years with uh, all party groups um, on, a, on a variety of subjects, but most importantly recently with the all party group on the abolition of the death penalty. Uh, I've just agreed a contract with the World Coalition Against the Death Penalty uh, to prepare a guide for parliamentarians who are working to uh, abolish the death penalty in those countries that are still retaining it. How did this project start? Why um, is the World Coalition interested in this? The campaigning uh, for the universal abolition of the death penalty has been largely led by NGOs and academics and people from the legal profession. But it's become very obvious that uh, parliamentarians are central uh, to the, for the struggle against uh, uh, the death penalty and uh, a number of organisations including the World Coalition and the All Party Group uh, in the UK, uh, the Ensemble Contre la Peine de Mort uh, and the International Commission Against the Death Penalty, a number of Penal Reform International, a number of organisations have recognised the central importance of parliamentarians uh, to the abolitionist project and there have been a number of discussions uh, about how best to engage with parliamentarians and the World Coalition have uh, decided that um, a very useful tool as part of this project is to uh, prepare a guide for parliamentarians on the various aspects of how not only to abolish the death penalty but actually to take important steps on the road to abolishing the death penalty which is can be as equally an important issue. How are, how are you going to go about writing this guide? Uh, where will the information come from and how is it going to be selected and put together? Well, uh, an important resource uh, for the guide will be the experiences of parliamentarians themselves because that what the guide will hopefully do primarily is to bring together those experiences and the learning uh, from the activities that the parliamentarians have been engaged in, in in various retentionist countries around the world so that they can share that experience uh, with other parliamentarians. So the precise uh, form that we will uh, take in producing the guide is that I will produce an outline and we will uh, circulate that outline to a, a range of interested parliamentarians uh, in order to get that feedback that we're on the right track um, and we will then uh, start asking a series of questions to those parliamentarians and other parliamentarians where we hope to get some information. And the questions will be based on things like what has been your experience, what has been your success so far on the road to abolition, what have been the difficulties um, that you've been facing, what are the learning points, um, what would you advise other parliamentarians in other countries uh, to do uh, if, if they're faced with similar problems to yourself and importantly uh, we would want to ask them what do you need as a resource to help you in your work what can the guide give you so we we need to ask them all those questions now you were in Paris on the occasion of the World Day Against the Death Penalty uh, taking part in one of several events around the world involving parliamentarians. Uh, what is their initial reception to this project? What kind of interest can you feel among them for uh, work towards abolition? I think the the interest is there and it, uh, it was very apparent at uh, the event in Paris uh, today. Um, the, uh, the fact that the guide was being produced was uh, announced at the conference and immediately afterwards uh, I was approached by a number of parliamentarians from a range of countries in the MENA region um, who, who gave me their details, uh, said that they would be interested in uh, not only advising on the production of the guide but providing essential information on the success stories and the challenges uh, facing parliamentarians um, and that they would be happy to give us information and become involved in the project. They also said in a sense that the, they felt that a guide would be a very useful thing for them um, if nothing else, uh, to be to be used to um, start a debate in their countries uh, about the death penalty and the particular countries where where the issue just hasn't been raised yet.